Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. In today's video, we're going to do a take 10 on Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne is definitely one of my favorite actors. Lawrence Fishburne is one of those type of actors who seem like everything he touched just turned to gold. He's a fantastic actor. He's very versatile. I really wa enjoy watching Lawrence Fishburne on the screen. His presence is, is first class. So starting off with... Hoodlum. Hoodlum is a fantastic movie. This chronicles the story of Bumpy Johnson. There's a couple of different movies, different adaptations on Bumpy Johnson. Netflix had one called, I think it was called King of Harlem. I didn't get a chance to check it out, but I heard nothing but good things about it. But this is one of my favorite movies. I have seen this one at least six times. So you got an all-star casting here. You got Lawrence Fishburne. You got uh, Vanessa Williams, Tim Roth, Andy Garcia. You also got Cicely Tyson. You got, uh, the list goes on and on. It's just a lot of talent in this movie. The acting is superb. You even got Nate from Boys to Men is in here. You got, it's just, it's ridiculous the amount of talent that's in this movie. You going to love it. If you never seen Hoodlum, go ahead and check this one out. You won't regret it. Hoodlum came out in 1997. It has a 130 minute runtime. And it only scored 6.3 IMDb. I'm not really sure what's up with that because I would give this a 7.5. I thought it was just that good. That's just me, though. I thought it was fantastic. One of my favorite films. Okay, next is one that was not a theatrical release. This was an HBO original, but it was a good movie. Not a lot of people know about this one. It's called Always, Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned. I mean, what a fantastic movie this was. So, Lawrence Fishburne plays a character named Socrates, who's just, life has thrown this man so many hardballs. He's a get up against all odds. He's trying to find a job. But through all of that, through everything he was going through in his life, it didn't take away his, his will to just be a decent man and a good person and to help others the best way he could. Socrates is just one of those characters. You got to see this movie. If you've never seen Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned, again, if you got HBO Max, I think you can get this one because it is an HBO original. So you want to go ahead and check out, out Outnumbered, Outgunned. This is a free movie on YouTube. You can see this for free. You don't have to buy it. But this is such a good movie. I wanted to have a hard copy of it. Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned came out in 1998. It has a 104-minute runtime, and, it's, and it got a very good 7.2 IMDb. Now, again, let's let's go back real quick, because I, I have to do this. Always Outnumbered and Always Outgunned is really good, but it's not Hoodlum. Now, again, these are two different movies, but just the, the, the cast, the talent, the story, the writing, the acting, the production value, this is 6.3, this is 7.2. And I, I, I got to disagree with that. I think Hoodlum is overall the better movie. Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned is more of an emotional movie. It's more of a thinking movie, but Hoodlum is just better. So this is where I always come into conflict with the, with the rating systems. This one is rated 1.1 .1 higher than this one. I, I, I disagree. But again, let's just continue. Achille and the Bee. I really like the Keely and the Bee. This is a, a very young Kiki Palmer in this one. Angela Fishburne. Um, I'm not sorry. Angela Bassett, Angela Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. But this is a good movie. It's about a little girl named Akila who's going all the way to win the... I think, did she win? But she went all the way to the finals. And I'm, if I'm not sure, I think she might have won the Spelling Bee. It was a big Spelling Bee. She was a young girl. She was being represented by Lawrence Fishburne. Fishburne and Bassett, the mother, they had some back and forths. And the whole neighborhood, the whole community was really pulling for Akila to win this B. Fantastic movie. Really, really good movie. Akila and the B came out in 2006. It has a 112-minute runtime. And it scored a really decent, well-deserved 7.3 IMDb. Good movie. Next up, we have a classic. Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Came out in 1991. It has 112-minute runtime. It has a, a well-deserved 7.8 IMDb. This is a really good hood movie. You know, it's right up there with Menace to Society, uh, South Central Strap, Fresh Clockers. You know, it's, it's up there with all of those. Good movie. Here's another one. 
Biker Boys. Now, Biker Boys was okay. It wasn't nothing great, but it's a Fishburne movie. Um, so, Biker Boys came out 2003. It has a 111-minute runtime, and it scored a low 4.6 IMDb. I would have gave it at least a 5, maybe a 5.2. But again, Biker Boys. Nothing special there. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Now, here's... Now, here's one that's right up there. For, now, as far as Fishburne movies go, this is in my top five with Hoodlum. This is right up there. So, top five for me uh, is going to be Hoodlum, um, Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned, and this one, Deep Cover. Fe wow. What I, what, I, I saw this in the theater. As soon as it came out, I had to go see this one. So, Deep Cover came out in 1992. It scored a 107 IMDb, and it got a decent 6.9 IMDb. I could see maybe a 7, 2, 7, 5 for this one, but 6.9 isn't terrible. It's pretty decent. Now, this just had a Criterion release not too long ago. Or, well, actually, it was just on sale. I'm not sure. I think it might have came out a couple years ago. But either way, this is a Criterion. This is on Criterion now. But the DVD is great for me. I like it. Deep Cover is... This is where I really got exposed to Lawrence Fishburne, like really paid attention to his career where this put him on my radar. Um, so deep cover again, uh, we went over the numbers. It's a fantastic movie. Lawrence Fishburne, this movie is like, um, I'm kind of veering off here, but this movie is like the movie. Um, oh man, I forgot what it's called with LL Cool J and Omar Epps. They, these movies are pretty much the same. I forget that one. This one's called deep cover. That one is called, uh, Somebody in the comment section dropped the name. I already know what it is. I just can't remember right now. But Deep Cover is a fantastic undercover movie. It's about a deep cover uh, police officer who went, went deep to go in to infiltrate an organization. Really good movie. The one with LL Cool J is going to blow my mind. I know I got the movies behind me, but there it is. Next up, Assault on Precinct 13. This is a solid movie. This is a remake to the original Assault on Precinct 13. But Assault on Precinct 13 came out in 2005. It has a 104-minute runtime. And it's got a decent 6.3 IMDb. Uh, it's basically about assault on a police station. Higher Learning. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. This is another one that put him on my radar. He played a professor in here. A really well-disciplined professor. His, his Now, this role... Who shows how diverse Fishburne is because he can play a lot of stuff. Higher Learning came out in 1995. This is another one I went to the theaters to see. Uh, came, it has a 127 minute runtime and a 6.5 IMDb. Um, this one, the soundtrack to this movie was incredible. The acting was incredible. Uh, Tyra Banks was in this one. Yeah, was Tyra Banks in this one? Omar Epps, I do believe Tyra Banks made her. Actor acting debut in this one too. Fantastic movie. Next up, The Matrix one and two. Uh, Morpheus. I, I had to bring that up. I had to bring in Morpheus. No need to really talk about it, but The Matrix. Uh, it started in 1999, and The Matrix. I do believe The Matrix came out in 99. The Matrix two came out in 03. The Matrix had an 8.7 IMDb. Matrix 2, which is Matrix Reloaded, 7.2 IMDb. Uh, I can agree with both of those ratings. So that's The Matrix 1 and 2. Next up, Armored. Armored came out in 2009. It has an 88 minute runtime, so it's, you know, not too long. 5.7 IMDb. This is a typical Armored car movie. There's a ton of those out there. This is typical. Mid-pack, wouldn't say it's the best, wouldn't say it's the worst. So that's your take 10 on Lawrence Fishburne. Fun fact about Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, the movie, uh, the show Good Times, that came out, I do believe Good Times came out like in the late 70s, early 80s. Michael Evans, that role was originally, uh, Norman Lear, who wrote that, who basically wrote it, produced it, and did all of the creative work behind the scenes with Good Times, and a lot of shows from that era. Norman Lear actually had Lawrence Fishburne. That role was written for Lawrence Fishburne. But Lawrence, something happened, and Lawrence Fishburne didn't get the role. The character guy, I think his name is Ralph. I forget his last name. He got the role over Lawrence Fishburne. It's not that he got it over. There was some kind of commitment with Lawrence Fishburne where he could not take the role of Michael Evans. But fun fact, that role was actually written for 
Lawrence Fishburne. And I think if Lawrence Fishburne would have took that role, it would have changed the whole trajectory of his career. So, fun fact. That's our Take 10. I'll see you in the next one.